In this video, I'm going to be talking about how do you create generational wealth using little or no money. And when I say little or no money, I don't literally mean little or no money. I mean that money doesn't have to come from your pocket. It can come from someone else's pocket or from another financial institution's pocket because you do need money to start a business, but it doesn't have to be yours. You do need experience to start a business, but it doesn't have to be yours. You need expertise to start a business, but it doesn't have to be yours. So those are the main uh, things, principles that you need to understand is that just because a project needs expertise, experience of people who have done it before and capital doesn't mean all of it has to come from you. So what does come from you? The effort, the time, the execution can come from you. So let's get right into it. How to create generational wealth. And I'm going to break down examples of people who have done it. Uh, just a quick introduction. If you're new to this channel, my name is Prithvi Chauhan and I'm the founder of a healthcare investment company. And in the last three years, I've negotiated a $3.5 million deal, a $10 million deal, a $25 million deal, a $120 million deal and a $140 million deal. Not only that, before I got into the position of negotiating these deals, I happened to uh, put together uh, one of a team uh, of one of the most high profile executives in the whole country who are now my business partners. And this includes a CEO of a $3.5 billion company and also one of the top lawyers in the region in UAE who advised on a $13 billion bank merger. Okay, so pretty heavy hitters. Not only that, I've got top financial professionals, accounting professionals who worked at the top law and accounting firms in the whole world. And um, also I managed to get into a partnership with two high profile CEOs of healthcare companies. And um, so I did this at the age of 29 with little or no background in doing this, just executing the steps. Um, and the credit goes to my mentor, Dan Pena, obviously, who gave me this information, but the execution part was obviously done by me. So I'm going to talk about how generational wealth is created. To create generational wealth, you have to buy cash flow producing assets. You know, essentially business is about buying some raw materials, creating a product or service and selling it into the marketplace and bring in, bringing in capital, right? So it's about buying either a product from a place which you can source it cheaply if you buy in bulk and then selling it into a market that has a need for that product. Well, in the world of buying assets, nothing is different except for the fact that the assets that you're buying are in extremely big size and you're dealing with very few people when you are buying them and you are uh, when you sell them, you're also dealing with very few people. So it's very uh, it's less hassle. For example, if you want to if you want to make a hundred million dollars selling a lipstick, you have to sell probably a billion lipstick. I, I don't know the numbers. I'm just, you know, making an assumption here that you got to sell at least a billion lipstick for you to net a hundred million dollars. So that's a lot of lipsticks. Um, but if you just keep increasing the size of the product, then you can afford to buy a few of those and combine them together and sell it. So this is what happens in real estate, a real estate company, um, you know, real estate is a big sized asset that's producing cash flow. Similarly, you can buy a company which is producing cash flow and that's uh, a big sized asset. So you could have a $10 million deal, uh, you know, one deal, you sign some papers and you have a $10 million deal. Um, and that's one transaction. You don't have to speak to hundreds of millions of people. You don't have to market a whole ton of, you know, stuff. 
is just one phone call with one decision maker of a $10 million business and that's a $10 million deal. And then you got to get the banker, connect the two and you have acquired the company. I mean, I'm oversimplifying it, you need expertise, but it, it really boils down to this fundamental step, which is acquiring assets using debt. And why we use debt is because when you raise debt from a financial institution, all you have to do is just pay some interest and uh, they, they let you keep the control of the company. But if you raise capital from an investor, they are going to take shares in your company and your uh, control and your interest will be diluted by bringing in that kind of capital. So not all investor capital is good. Okay, debt is good because it's cheap. You take the money, it's still green in color, okay, and it will still fulfill the requirement, but all you gotta do is pay an interest uh, on that and the principal, of course, um, and you acquire this cash flow producing asset. So the bottom line is, if you wanna build generational wealth, the fastest and the most effective way is to buy cash flow producing assets using debt. How do you pay off the debt? You use the cash flow from the assets to pay off the debt. The cash flows doesn't have to come from your pocket. Again, it can come from the business, okay? Because you are not buying companies or a real estate which is uh, not cash flow producing. And bank is not gonna lend you most likely the money uh, if you want to buy something that's not producing cash flow. So you want a cash flow producing asset that can actually pay off the debt that you are borrowing over a set period of time. So it's just as simple as that you uh, and I'm going to be talking about the steps necessary to do this. So step number one is choose your industry. Okay, you got to choose an industry which has a high volume of businesses available to buy. One of the industries is real estate, but better than real estate is healthcare. Okay, so healthcare is a market which has a ton of businesses, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of businesses in your region, especially in the United States, you've got hundreds of thousands of businesses in healthcare. And the owners of these businesses are getting old, even though their businesses are profitable, they will have to sell at some point. And uh, even though there are a lot of buyers buying these businesses, the competition is not a lot compared to the market size. So all you got to do is just start making the phone calls and you will find a deal. But before you do that, there are steps before that. So we'll, we'll look into it. Step number one is pick an industry which has a high volume of businesses available to sell. This industry has to have at least 20% profit margins. Okay. Um, and it has to have a high volume of businesses and it has to be stable from a macroeconomic standpoint. What I mean by that is you don't want something like COVID uh, to completely wipe out that industry. So you want it stable uh, over the cycles, that, in the, that whole industry. So you want a stable industry, you want a high profit margin, you want a high volume of businesses that you can buy. Um, and then you can, you need to define the business model, which is obviously you are buying companies and collecting them together to form a one major group. Okay. So you will decide what price you will enter and what price you will exit. And obviously what you exit has to be significantly larger than what you enter. And that's what you make. The difference is what you make, uh, you know, and what your company makes. So that's going to be the business model, buying low, selling high. And with private companies, you can buy really low. And if you make a big enough company, you can sell really high. So that's a simple arbitrage. You buy at a small price and you sell at a high price. How do you buy? You use debt. So, you, so, uh, you know, so that's the business model. You use debt to buy cash flow producing assets. You buy several companies, create a big company and exit to a major strategic player. That's the fundamental business model. Now, once you create the business model, you need team members that will help you build this. So you need a finance professional, a high quality uh, a finance professional from one of the top uh, international financial firms. Um, you want one top accountant, 
you want one top lawyer, you want M&A experts, you want operational expertise on your team, which has um, you know uh, experience in running these companies that you're buying because it's not just about buying this these types of product company is a product we call it a product um, if you're buying these companies you want to make sure somebody has the expertise to run these businesses and you want to make sure that your team collectively has legal financial accounting and operational and M&A expertise as a whole so once you set up the team you should have around 200 plus years of experience and billions of dollars in deal experience okay so that you have a ton of experience on your team so step number one industry step number two uh, creating a business model step number three is building the team step number four is your team will extend to your accounting firms and law firms where which you will use to do investigation on these businesses okay why because businesses do not always give you accurate information and an accurate picture about how much business they are doing they want to inflate uh, how much business they are doing so that they can get a big price all the decisions are made based on financials of the business and f you can lie on financials so you want to make sure an accounting firm looks into the business and validates if the information is accurate or not and you want a law firm to validate whether the business is legitimate or not okay so once you have the due diligence reports and everything and you, you so you need these firms to do due diligence for you uh, and then you start calling up bankers and you identify you know different uh, bankers at different level who does who do financing to buy businesses it's called acquisition financing so you want to find out people uh, you know bankers that does that do that do that kind of um, for financing acquisition financing and then the final step is and then you want to set up all a lot of relationships in the banking uh, sector uh, who do acquisition financing and then finally you have got um, businesses you need to identify businesses that you want to buy so you will start calling up a lot of uh, businesses and you will identify a million dollar business that can sell you at a lower price you will find a seller that can take an initial payment and then delay the rest and then all you got to come up is with this initial down payment which you can raise from the bank and you can pay off while running by running the business and paying from the cash flow back to the bank so there is no money down from you you acquired an asset using debt and the asset itself pays for the loan and you have secured yourself a deal and you have used your team members to look at the transaction to make sure that you have removed all the risks that you have structured the de deal right and you know you can keep buying businesses until your company is big enough to exit by exit i mean you take couple of small companies and you make a big company and then you get acquired by another big company and you you make a whole bunch of money uh, and the team members who supported you through all of this will also be paid very handsomely and everybody wins the bankers made the interest the team members made the money you made the money seller made the money and uh, accountants and lawyers made the money okay so this whole ecosystem um, everybody makes the money and you obviously were doing most amount of the work so you will be paid a significant amount of that now the numbers in this can go from you know 5 million 10 million 20 million 50 million 100 million and hundreds and hundreds of millions and billions okay there are many companies who have gone to multi multi billion dollars you know trillions of dollars actually if you look at black rock uh, i think they have assets worth around trillion dollars and they do this type of activity uh, which is called acquisitions mergers and acquisitions so this is a way that I have seen work I have been around people who have done it I've been around people who have built 30 million dollars in paid portfolio I know people who have uh, you know I've met individuals who are worth 500 million pounds some of the richest businessmen in uh, UK who have done this um, and um, you know I have 
been involved in these transactions and I'm continuing to build my company on this basis. So really, I'm proposing something that I'm doing. It's a business model that I discovered after eight, nine years of looking and after paying Dan Pena 40,000 pounds. And, um, and then I executed and I started to validate everything that I learned and I started to find deals and I started to look at the numbers and it became very clear to me how the steps go and what is possible and the numbers that are possible. Once I got exposed to that, everything changed because all the numbers of my dreams, you know, all the money that I wanted to make, all those numbers were there in this business model, you know, and I wanted to make a billion dollars and I'm on that pathway. Um, and if you are someone who wants to get on this journey, this process, reach out to me. I offer a one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I take you through the process step by step. So we do one session and we do, and you got to execute that session. And then we do the second session. You got to execute that third session, fourth session. So the, the mentorship can take place over three to six months to eight months, sometimes nine months. And I make sure that you're properly positioned so that you have access to the industry, to business model, to advisors, uh, your accounting and law firms, you have banks, you have, uh, you know, sellers, multi-million dollar businesses you can buy, you know how to negotiate with them, structure the deal, analyze the deal and um, keep control of your company and then eventually start buying businesses. So I help you position yourself to do this and I help you get to a point where uh, you can acquire these companies. So if that's you, if you want to reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one mentorship, click the link below. I am going to leave my email. I'm going to leave my uh, LinkedIn profile, Instagram and Facebook. Reach out to me on any of these platforms. I'm most responsive on my email. So if you can email me, uh, you know, referring to this video, uh, we will discuss further uh, what can be worked out between us. And I will talk to you soon.